Hi, this is Chris with Top Tier Storage Products. Today I'm going to walk you through how to assemble one of our one tier 12 by 12 by 72 locker kits and also how to install some of our accessory products, front base, end base, and our individual slope top kits. Let's start by taking a look at some of the tools and parts we'll be using today. We have 3 8 inch bolts, 3 8 inch nuts, one double ceiling hook, three single wall hooks, a 3 8 inch nut driver, and a pick. We'll also have one set of locker legs. Other tools you might find helpful include a mallet and a drill. Today we're going to be using two saw horses to support our locker during assembly. This gives us a nice solid base and some room to work. Saw horses are not necessary, however, as most counters or tables will serve as sufficient surfaces to assemble your locker. Our first step in assembly is attaching one single wall hook to the back panel of the locker using two sets of our 3 8 inch nuts and bolts. All bolts are to be inserted from the outside in with the nut on the inside of the locker. This is a 3 8 inch nut driver. We're going to use this to tighten our nuts and make sure that our hook is nice and snug. Your locker kit will come with a pair of top and bottom pieces, as well as a similarly shaped hat shelf. You'll be able to distinguish the matching top and bottom pieces by the rectangular flanges on the sides. The hat shelf is unique in that it has a turned over lip. We're going to attach the top piece to the back panel of the locker using two more sets of nuts and bolts. At this point, we'll only be hand tightening the nuts on all of our locker panels so our frame remains flexible. We'll further tighten all of these nuts later using our 3 8 inch nut driver. When attaching our bottom piece, we like to put our nuts and bolts inside the bottom edge so when we rotate the piece up with the flanges facing down, they're conveniently at our fingertips. As we did with the top, hand tighten the two sets of nuts and bolts into their respective holes. Next, it's time to attach our side panels. Slide the side panels into the back panel flanges, making sure that the hook holes in the center of the side panels align with the hooks we've already attached on the back panel. We always double check that the metal edges of the side panel curl inwards. If so, we know we have the correct side panels in place. We'll start by using one nut and one bolt to attach the side panel to the top of the locker, and another set to attach the side panel to the back of the locker. This will help stabilize the frame. From here, we can continue to hand tighten nuts and bolts all the way down the side of the locker. We'll leave the bottom two holes open so we can attach the rear legs in a later step. We can finish up installing our first side panel by attaching it to our bottom using two final sets of nuts and bolts. Before attaching our second side panel, it's time to install our hat shelf. We're going to align the shelf with the holes on the side panel right above the single wall hook and begin inserting our nuts and bolts. At this point, we can attach our double ceiling hook to the bottom of the hat shelf, as well as attaching our second single wall hook to the side panel we just installed. Just a reminder, when installing all hooks, we want to hand tighten the nuts and bolts into place and then use our 3 8 inch nut driver to make sure they're properly installed. Now that our hat shelf and hooks are securely fastened, it's time to install our second side panel. Like the first, we'll slide the side panel inside the flanges of the back panel and make sure the curved metal edge is facing inward and that all of our holes are aligned properly. As we did on the other side, we'll start by affixing one set of nuts and bolts to the top as well as one set to our back so that the side panel stays in place. Then we can begin filling the other sets of holes in our side panel.
When we reach the hat shelf, we'll take two sets of nuts and bolts and securely affix the shelf to our second side panel, just as we did with the other side. While we're here, we can grab our last single wall hook and attach it to the side panel using the holes immediately below the hat shelf. After our final wall hook is in place, it's time to fill the remaining holes down the edge of our second side panel. As a reminder, when we near the bottom, we'll leave the last two holes open, which we'll soon use to attach our legs. For now, we can finish the side panel by attaching it to the bottom using two more sets of nuts and bolts. Now it's time to install our locker legs using the two openings here. The curve faces inside and allows us to slide the leg right into position. We'll line up the two holes on the side panel with the two slots on the leg and attach our nuts and bolts. While the nuts are still hand tightened, we're going to slide the first leg all the way up so the bolt finds itself at the bottom of each slit in the leg. We're going to take our nut driver and tighten those two nuts so that our leg stays firmly in place. Repeat this exact process for the opposite leg. The next step in our locker assembly will be installing the door. Place the door frame on top of the assembled locker body, making sure all side panels and top and bottom lips are tucked inside the door frame. At this point, we'll find it helpful to open the door and insert our pick through the door frame in one of the side panel holes. This helps keep the door in place and all of our holes in line while we attach nuts and bolts on each side. With the pick in place, we can start inserting our nuts and bolts on the sides of the door frame. Remember that all bolts are inserted on the outside of the locker with the nuts on the inside. The one exception is the bottom shelf, which we'll get to in a minute. We'll repeat this process on the other side of the door frame, again by using the pick and lifting the door as necessary to access our holes. We'll have two holes on the top of the door frame where we'll attach it to our top piece. Remember, we're still hand tightening everything at this point. There's one more hole to pay attention to, and that's where we'll attach the door frame to our bottom shelf. This is where we'll insert the bolt from the inside of the locker and the nut on the outside. The nut on the bottom will be hidden by the flange. If your locker becomes dirty, feel free to use a rag to wipe down your locker parts. Any non-abrasive cleaner can be used on the locker. If you do not plan to install any of our accessories, your locker assembly is complete. It's now time to stand up our locker so we can tighten all of our nuts and check the locker's functionality. Using our 3 8 inch nut driver one last time, we'll go through and tighten up all the nuts throughout the locker, making sure everything is secure and the locker is ready to use. For safety and security purposes, all lockers should be attached to a wall to prevent the locker from tipping. The proper anchors should be supplied by the end user and will change depending on the surface the locker is being attached to. And that concludes our one-tier locker instructional. We hope that you found it helpful. Thanks.